Hey there, today we'll be doing this question that's max sum of pair with equal sum of digits. And the question statement is we are given a zero indexed array nums consisting of positive integers. You can choose two indices that's i and j such that i is not equals to j. And the sum of digits of number nums of i is equals to that of nums of j. And we just need to return the maximum value of nums of i plus nums of j. So what the question statement state uh try, is trying to state is that you have to number uh, you just gotta choose two numbers such that their sum is equal that is i'll be choosing your 18 and the other one could be 36 so, uh, and that digit sum is 9 and this one's digit sum is 9 and if we just sum these two guys up we are getting something like 54 right here which is given in the example as well and that is what we need to return and why is this chosen as the um, returnable answer because there is also another configuration of 1 and 4 indexes 1 and 4 such that 43 is one of them and 7 is one of them their summation is 7 and 7 but their summation that is 43 plus 7 adds up to 50 so the question statement was pretty clear i hope you have already understood the question now let's get to how i did it so how to solve it i'll actually say first of all the method a brute force method could be something like just iterate on all the pairs and just find it out but that would obviously give a tle, TLE for such a large test case that is 10 to the power 5 length okay so what you need to do is how i approach this problem is i first of all stated what are all the numbers digit sum that are possible that is I'll just get onto the code and I'll explain it side by side so it gets pretty clear to you. So at first what I did was, so let's just take an example right here that is let's just say it is 1843. For now let's just say these are the two possible things and let's just take one more right here and let's just take one more. There's no harm in taking that also. So after that we have taken those things okay that is our input array. And after that, what I say is I first sorted it. Why I sorted it, I'll just tell you later on. After that, I created a map of int, vector of int. Now, what this map does is it does something like this. That is, it stores all the sum and the values. That means, what is the summation of digit for this number? That is 9. So, it will create a value there and it will say, okay this is this is the summation of this digit so what is its corresponding number so 18 is forming 9 okay so is there any other number that's forming 9 yes there is that is 36 right so this is another number that's forming 9 so this is how our map structure looks like and so in, similarly for this 43 we'll get something like a 7 that is 4 plus 3 and the corresponding number which is forming the 7 is this again 7 will also be there since 7 itself is forming 7 so these are how and maps will be looking like right so after that so this is a simple uh, function to just find the summation of digit if you want okay so this is what i have used right here i have made a uh, custom function and just uh, did the, uh, the summation of digits part after that i just pushed it into my map as i showed you there and when i'm done with that now let's get to the sorting part why did i sort this so uh, maybe sorting was faster i do not know as of now yet i did not check the uh, timing like what was the time uh, taken by it so uh, when i was doing it i just thought that okay if i know somehow that if i just sorted it in the decreasing order that means 36 and after that it's 43 and okay sorry it should be 43 and then 36 okay so this is the idea so that's 43 then 36 then 18 then 17 7 sorry so this is how it's looking like right after i did this i just saw that okay i've got it into a sorted order now if i'm choosing some element from here right and i'm choosing some element from right here and picking it up and putting it into my map i know that those two will be the 
biggest ones and also not the biggest one actually it will be in the descending order obviously why so let's just see that so this is now my sorted array right and mind you in descending order so now how my map will look like right now let's just see that part so now when i see that okay the summation i'll just write the summation up here so this summation is seven this one says nine this one is again nine and this one is seven so in my map how will it be stored now mind you i'm iterating from left to right i know this is in sorted order so in my map also all the elements that i insert first 36 will go in and after that 18 will go in right and again for 7 43 will go in and 7 will go in so i am reducing the unnecessary checks which i have to do for uh, checking the highest two possible sums that is 36 and 18 let's just say i had something more in my map let's just say something like um let's just say what are the other possible combinations okay let's just say that it's 30 mm, not 30 i'll just say 7 and 2 okay if there was 7 and 2 and it would not be sorted okay if it was not sorted i would had uh had to sort this array first or try all the possible combination but since i had sorted it already now i know i just have to check the first two guys that means if it were in sorted order it would look something like this that is 72 and then 36 right so i hope you have understood what i'm trying to explain in this sorting part why this uh, actually helped okay so yeah that's it and if you just go and write here i'm iterating on the map this part is iterating on the map so i'll just write it down iterating on map right here okay after i iterate on map i just see that if a map size is less than or equals to one that means it cannot form a pair why so it is pretty self-explanatory let's just say uh, i need something like a seven right and i just have a value just seven okay and the length of my array was also seven uh, let's just say that it was one right so i cannot form a pair with single element obviously so th that is it that is why if it is less than or equals to one i just continue from there otherwise i just say that okay whatever the vector is that is whatever my map is storing that is something like this let's just say uh, for this digit the summation seven i have multiple numbers which form seven that is uh, something like 25 or something like uh, 43 i'm not writing right now in sorted order okay just for explanation purpose 43 or something like uh, 52 again okay so if this is how my uh, map is looking like right a map of int and vector which is i've declared here i'll just say i'll store it in a temporary uh, vector right here and i'll just add up the first two elements and what are the first two element it will obviously be the uh, uh, greatest element and the second greatest element okay and i'll just take the maximum of it and i'll just return it okay and that's it for this one if you want the code you can just check it i'll just scroll it up and down yeah and that's it for this video and if you did enjoy and understood the explanation just like it and subscribe yeah thank you for watching